Absolutely lights up Ruley. There's the hit of the game, maybe of the week. Now, let's go to the ice with the voice of the Magi. Here's Nick Holberg. The last time the Modern High Magicians won the West Region High School Hockey Tournament was 2006. You heard it right, 2006. It's now 2019, and they're back for another tournament. This time it's on their home ice at the Pepsi Rink here in the Magic City. Good evening and welcome to the Planet Pizza pregame show for Modern High Magicians Hockey West Region quarterfinal action where the Mandan Braves come into tonight's contest at 5-9 and nine in the West. They're the number six seed. They take on your Magi, the number three seed out of the West, sitting on an 8-6 and six mark. It will be a good one tonight. These two teams split earlier on this year. Planet Pizza, the area's ultimate party location. School parties, team parties, birthday parties, and so much more. They have free laser tag Monday and Wednesdays. That's right, free laser tag Monday and Wednesdays. They also have delivery. They'll deliver anywhere inside the modern city limits tonight. Highly recommend the Blue Buffalo Pizza at Planet Pizza. They can be reached at 701-852-1700. Nick Holberg. Here for the call tonight, honored to be here representing Modern High Magicians Hockey and even more excited to have the man that sits to the right of me join me for another broadcast here tonight. 44-year veteran of Modern High Magicians Hockey. He's been a part of it ever since the Magicians were a varsity program on the ice. It's Mr. Larry McFall. And Larry, in your time with the Magicians, they've found a way to make it to the State High School Hockey Tournament 35 times. Last year was one of the years that they weren't able to find a way to the Grand Forks Ralph Engel State Arena for the North Dakota State High School Hockey Tournament. They're back again in the West Region as the three seed like they were last year, and they've got an opportunity to head to the West Region Tournament semifinals tomorrow with a win over Mandad. And in my mind, things are very interesting for the Magi that when you look at the big picture, Larry, Minor High can either come out of the West Region Tournament as the number one seed, the number two seed, the three seed. They can't end up as the four seed, but they might not even make the tournament at all due to the parity of the West Region. Your thoughts on that situation at hand for the Magi and the way this West Region has played out, it certainly is the wild, wild West. And Modern High controls their own destiny with the wins and losses in the columns here at the WDA tournament. Uh, yeah, they do. And Nick, when you speak about the history of uh, Minot High Hockey and how many times they've went to the state tournament. Get ready for it tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun as Mandan and Minot High go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the West Region quarterfinals for a date tomorrow night with the Century Patriots. When we come back to the Planet Pizza pregame show, we'll talk to the Minot High co-head coach John Grubb. We'll hear his thoughts into the West Region tournament time. We'll hear his thoughts about the matchup tonight. We'll come back from that. And we'll dive further into the numbers of this matchup. It's Minot High and Mandan in the West Region quarterfinals here tonight from the Pepsi rink. More of the Planet Pizza pregame show. It's tourney time for the Magi. This is Minot High Magicians Hockey. Pizza Coach's Corner. We're joined now by the Modern High co-head coach, Mr. John Grubb. And, John, first of all, as always, thanks for some time here before the West Region Tournament. Absolutely. Exciting time of the year. First and foremost, the Pepsi rink here at Mesa Arena is a fantastic arena. Hands down the best in the West, in my mind. And, uh, really, when you look at high school hockey venues, this one probably is the tops in the state as far as size is concerned for a tournament like this. Your thoughts on having this tournament here on your home ice sheet, not only for the facility itself, but what it does for your hockey team and that home ice advantage here for three days? Uh, it's fun having it here. It's Big question I have about the Magicians before we talk about today's game with this tournament. This is a very young hockey team, and throughout the year, we've seen that uh, that immaturity is maybe the wrong word to use, but you can use it in some situations with this club. Does that scare you at all heading into tournament time or first two, three shifts? Does that uh, play a big factor? Is that something by this time of the year you think some of those younger guys have shaken off that have really emerged out of the turtle shell here late in the season? I think we'll see some nerves here in the first period of the 
One of the key stats I've had on the year, you guys have only taken 78 penalties on the season, and that's a pretty low number when you look at what a, what you've been able to draw on 113. And with the help of that, over the last seven games, you guys are 6-1, and one, and man, you're a goal-scoring machine and a war machine heading into tournament time. Your thoughts on the way that your productivity on uh, on the offensive side of things has certainly helped with some power play time and even strength and certainly staying out of the box? Well, um, I think the big part of it is we're starting to get some lines kind of one guy that uh, I don't want to pinpoint in a negative way here, but Kyler Stenberg, man, he's been snake bitten on the season. He's only got nine points, five goals on the year. Last year, he finished second in scoring for you guys with 22 points. You see that frustration from a player that wears a C for you. What do you tell a kid like that before tournament time here in his senior year to try to get him to relax maybe a little bit and take uh, take the grip off the stick and maybe find a few at the back of the net that we know we can do? Well, that's the thing. We you know we've been. 